Um, then we had our, our local, you know, Curtis King Curtis. Yeah, yeah, he was, uh, you know, you know, he was well, he was a local local heel. But I was told to ask you about King Curtis cookies. Oh, <laughs> is, there, is there something special about those? LSD laced, just Curtis. Were you close with Curtis? Yeah, yeah, he's my wife's best friend. Is with his wife. Oh, really? Yeah. He was like uh, about 12, 15 years older than I was. So I watched him growing up, <clears throat> listened to him, his promos and stuff. <clears throat> we had the best of the best over here as far as wrestling goes. With Curtis and Johnny Moran, <clears throat> Ripper Collins, you know, great promo guys. Why did Curtis only have that short run in WWE when uh, he was managing Kamala, I think, at one point? He was scheduled in Toronto. He was okay. doing. He were, we were booked in. He was uh, booked in Toronto, and uh, uh, Freddie Botello or Freddie Pacheco or one of his friends from Maui sent him three or four hundred hits of acid. No. <laughs> and he didn't. Uh, he didn't want to go through the border and carry all that shit through the border. They just called Vince. Hey, I can't go. I gotta go. He was burnt out. You know, he'd been on the road, and he just his family was back here in Hawaii, and he was going from motel to motel. So it probably, you know, it's just a good, good excuse to get out of here.